Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electrica. I really appreciate that. Now, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, to like and share. Now, uh, today I want us to look at something um, still about control. Now, uh, have you ever thought of, you know, uh, controlling your circuit in more than, you know, one position, okay? Uh, let me say, uh, you want to start and stop uh, a drive or a motor in more than, you know, one position. It could be a remote position, probably uh, a field position. For example, you might put uh, a start-stop uh, near the machine, and then also you can put it in the field away from the machine. Okay? Uh, how do you do that? I thought we can do something like that. Now, these are two uh, buttons. So you have uh, red and green. Uh, the green. The green one is start and the red one is stop. Okay? Now, when you're connecting these guys, uh, the one thing you have to know is uh, uh, stop. The stop button you have to connect it in series with your circuit, okay? And then the start, it will be parallel, okay? Okay, uh, that's the one thing you have to note first, okay? Now, without further ado, uh, I want to draw this circuit here, then we see. So let us begin with the parallel, okay? Let us begin with the parallel. Now, one thing, let us have our circuit here, okay? So you have your overload here. You have your stop. You have your start. And you have a coil here, okay? So for start, uh, let us draw. For start, it's normally open. And then, this is normally closed for stop, okay? And now since it is a self-holding circuit, All right, and uh, so this is H, the hold, you have your start here, and then you have stop. This is your L, and then this is N, you have A1 of the coil, and you have A2 of the coil, okay? All right, now this is your circuit. You know very well that uh, you have L here, goes through the overload relay, uh, through a stop button which is normally closed. Now our current pen here, when you press this button here, which is this, definitely our coil will get energized and will close the contact edge here, okay? And anything connected there will work, okay? Now, this is where we want to know how to add, uh, you know, other buttons, okay? To extend. Okay, now what you do, we said that start will be parallel, okay? Now let's try. Like that. Okay. That is the start button, the second one. You see, it is parallel to the first one, okay? That is the third one. Now you have three uh, start buttons. You can start the circuit from here. You can start the circuit from here or here. And if you see here, we have 
our current that goes through the stop, it's right here, okay? This is it. You have your current that pend here, okay? So if you press here, okay? If you press here, tip, definitely we'll have our current will move. It will either pass here or it will pass this side. But what I want you to know that if you press here, this current will go through here and come, okay? If you press uh, here, this current will move, okay? Like that, and then, so it is the same thing as you're closing here, as you're closing here, as you're closing there. It's just the same thing, okay? All right. Now, let's see if you want to integrate your stop button, okay? Also in three different positions, because definitely this one, they'll be moving together with, with the stop. So, let us wipe this. Okay, now let's see how we can do uh, the stop button is. Because you have three here, you also need to have three uh, stop button is. Okay? All right. Now what I'll do. Okay. This is L. Now you can see clearly that we have uh, three stop button is here corresponding with our three start button is here. Okay, of which they move together All right, so our stop button uh, are In a closed position and you can see how our current uh, move Okay So That's how you integrate your you know that's how you add stop and start button is, okay, in your circuit. And the, the other thing you have to understand that uh, you, uh, you just have to understand the principle of, you know, uh, how the terminals, the wires move, okay? Only that, because when you are applying this kind of circuit, in a real world, it, it won't look like this, okay? You have three different positions that you're controlling, meaning here you'll have a cable, okay? Like a four core cable, okay? You'll have like a four core, a, a, a four core cable which will be carrying two wires for, for start and it will be carrying two wires for stop, okay? And then it will be running to the field and then coming back to the control panel. So wherever these two cables are coming, you'll have, okay? You'll have these cables coming like one, two, three, four, okay? All of them, so, this will be one cable with four core, okay? So this four core meaning the two core will be for start, the, the other two core will be for stop. And it depends on where you've thrown your, uh, these buttons. So you, you will be having like one, two, okay? And maybe three uh, cables. So definitely you will have like uh, these uh, 12 wires. Okay, which you're connecting in a parallel. Okay, first the the six wire will be for start, and then uh, the other six wire will be for stop. Okay, and then the other thing you have to know that as you run wires for stop, it will come and pass through each other. It goes, it come back, pass through each other. It goes, you know, just like that. Okay, so if you follow, you know, the rule of thumb, everything will be. Uh, quite good. Uh, now, I hope this video, uh, you know, has given you an insight on how to, to run 
or uh, it has made you understand how to go about this circuit okay if you have a question don't hesitate just go in the comment section and talk to me okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave you this video here uh, you watch it and after you do that it will give you more insight okay so thank you very much uh don't forget to subscribe to like and share and sharing of course those people whom you think that this kind of content you know wow them okay until next time i'm out